in a season you get two postponements in, in quick succession, but how, how does that affect you as players? Um, obviously it's not it's not good that we've had uh, two games off um, over the bank holiday week. Obviously we'd like to get six points from that and push us forward, but uh, you've got to take the positives, you know, all the lads have had a little, uh, a little down, a down, down time and uh, looking forward to setting up. I was going to say, in a funny sort of way, I mean you've got a, a big fixture schedule to come, but, but it has given you a, a rest of sorts, hasn't it? Yeah, obviously we'd, we'd all prefer to play, but it has uh, given us a little bit of a rest and uh, Obviously we've had a lot of time on the training pitch now, so um, hopefully that can be a positive impact for Saturday. When it's such a long trip like Dover though, there must have been huge disappointment to hear that game being called off. Yeah, there was. Um, we weren't far from the ground at all when it actually got called off and we just did a U-turn at the roundabout bike and uh, back up the road a lot. But um, just one of them things and uh, we'll, we'll go back down there and do it right and hopefully win. And from a sort of a physical sense, do you have to be careful that you don't start pulling hamstrings when you've been sitting on the bus for, for that length of time? Uh, that does come into play, but um, you know, we're very looked after here and uh, I think all the lads, everyone's fit now and all the lads, majority of the squad's fit and all the lads are uh, looking nice and sharp at training, so hopefully no, no injuries there. Yeah. And, and if anything, you've got to clear a clearer picture now of, of what you've got to do because all the other sides have, have played more than you and, and you at least know if you can get the points then you, you're going to be second or third. Yeah, um, I think if we do win his game in hand, um, a couple of points uh, from fourth position, so uh, it's down to us, obviously. Um, I think, you know, I'll start with a local derby on Saturday. Um, obviously, I'm aware that um, it will be mostly Tramia fans there, so that'll give us a lift and hopefully we can go away with three points. In terms of, of the league, are you just taking it each game as it comes and just seeing where you, you end up? Absolutely. Um, obviously, Maxfield have got a healthy lead at the minute, as you can see. Um, but if, you know, things can change very quickly in football. You never, you just never know what's you never know what's uh, around the corner or you know, a few results our way and a few results against them. You, you just you just never know. Uh, so our aim has always been to win our next game, and that's what we're doing on Saturday. As you've alluded to, uh, sole allocation for the Chester match. I mean, you've been here a, a number of years now to recognise Tramia's support, but it must never fail to amaze you. Yeah, it's fantastic home and away. Um, especially away, I think it's brilliant, to be honest with you. Away. Um, I've seen it through the years I've been here. Um, and then, like I said, even to fill, I know at Chester I've allocated uh, as more tickets, but even to, just to get them snapped up straight away, it's fantastic. And what sort of effect does that have on you as players? It's massive, you know, even when we're coming out for the warm-up, we're singing and chanting. Um, and, you know, I've obviously been at other clubs before here, and that, that, it doesn't happen very often, and it, it happens here, so it's, uh, it's obviously good for all of us to get up for the game. It, it is a derby on paper, but, but Chester have, have gone through a difficult situation, like. Yeah, they have, and it's not nice to see. Um, obviously, being in the north-west side, you never want, never want to see that, but um, it is what it is, and we'll, we'll, we'll put that in the back of his mind, and hopefully just try and get three points. And for your own plight, and we don't know whether it'll be playoffs or, or automatic, but if it is the playoffs, do you believe the experience of, of last year, can, can that benefit you? Um, in some respects it can, yeah. Um, you'd like to think that you'd, you've learned from your mistakes, um, what you've done in obviously last season. Um, you did well in the semis, but the final, I don't think we was at it. And uh, So hopefully this, you know, if we did get there, um, we can use the experience, yeah. And I think for you, I've, Totted it up. I think it's appearance number one eight three for you and Tramia this weekend, including the loan spell that you had. Did yeah. you ever expect to, to be here five years later? Uh, you never really think about it, and you know when you sign at a club, you just really have to get it over the line or whatever. And uh, but yeah, there's a lot of appearances and I'm pretty pleased with that. Yeah. Is this the healthiest you've known the club or off the field since you've been here? I would definitely say so. Yeah. Um, obviously, when I when I first joined. Um, Obviously, weren't good with the relegations and that, so it you know, things are obviously good on that aspect of things. But um, you know, obviously, with this, where we're at now, so the campus is fantastic, and uh, yeah, it's looking good. And do you feel in yourself you've kind of gone from the new boy and, and you now uh, had to make that transition to being a senior professional and, and giving advice to perhaps the sort of people you would have asked advice from yeah. a couple of years ago? Yeah, I would say so. It's very much, um, I'm very much, you know. Part of the pain here, um, so yeah, I, you know, I'll try, try and help the lads as much as I can. The, the younger lads coming through, uh, and to be fair, when they accept it, so it's 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 good.
And what would it mean then as, as the longest serving player here to, to get promotion back to the Football League? It, it really would mean everything. Um, you know, it's, uh, obviously when I signed in League One, it's, you, you don't expect to be um, dropping two divisions. But it, it happened and you've just got to get on with it. So to get the club back into the Football League would mean everything to be honest with you.